now I want to talk to you about the statistic. Again, you, you described to us to be very careful when we're reading these types of statistics yes. because we don't know how the study was done. We don't done. know. And I'll definitely be remembering that in the future. But let's have a look at this one. As many as 64% of the women who are yeah. measured here say that their self-esteem, their femininity, and their desirability are often gauged in their minds by their partner's sexual attraction to them. So 64% of women feel that if their partner is not sexually attracted to them, they feel less feminine and um, it, it knocks on their self-esteem. Why is that? Yeah, yeah. you know, uh, um, a partner is really important and if they start to uh, just take the woman for granted and never give them any compliments or make them feel special, uh, the woman does start to feel that um, that she's not that pretty anymore. Maybe she's too overweight or too thin, and and so then they lose their own self confidence, but also their sexual confidence because they think, well, maybe it doesn't find me that attractive. Maybe it would be better off with somebody else. And so once that sexual confidence starts to um, get affected, then then it also you also bring it to the bedroom because now you're not so uh, you're, you're so in your head about this all and thinking that you're not doing it right you're not uh, you should be more you know you just become such a critic that you're not that you're not um, involved in this experience you're just in your head with lots of negative thought talk mm. so that's not a good thing because we women are already good with with negative self-talk um, men are better because they, they can quickly go into a fantasy, a sexual fantasy. Whereas with women, it's a skill to, to teach yourself how to fantasize. And that's something they need to learn. Now, if you wanted to learn that, how, how would you get started? Would I phone up a sexologist like you? Um, would I research it online? How, how do you get the tools to do that? I think if, if you want to take the, the easiest route, I would um, go to the, the Google and just say erotica for women and see what comes up and, and then there are books we can buy, you know, Nancy Friday is, is well known for women's erotica, Lonnie Barbach. Now if you read those books you'll find that there's about 20 fantasies and you might hate every single one of them but you might find the one that really calls your name and then you can make um, that one your own by maybe putting your husband into the scene and then when when you are uh, trying to get aroused instead of thinking about the bills to pay tomorrow and the work you still need to do and the, the washing you still have to do um, you think about the fantasy and that is so much more erotic than thinking about these other mundane things Absolutely. Rather yeah. the fantasy than the ESCOM bill. Absolutely. <laughs> Marlies, yeah. you've given us so much to think about today. And certainly ESCOM with their load shedding is helping us set the mood. Oh, I think More they than do. twice a week We even. better take advantage of this. Shouldn't we just? I think we, we you know, there's the <laughs> candles and uh, we've got nothing to do. We can't watch TV. I think I think it's a it might just be our break. <laughs> Perhaps we can get South Africans up to twice a week then. Right, right. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Before I let you go, won't you tell our viewers at home if they want to get in contact with you, how can they do that? Yes, they can uh, find me by just uh, googling my name and it's Marily Swart, um, or they can go on my website and that is uh, femalethoughts.com.